he's busking. Busking is a less profitable alternative to staying at home. The town notice board. No busking by order of Justice Gross. Wednesday is Wenches Night at the Shanty Town Tavern. Cheap rum, now 50% less fungal. The Methian rum shark is attracted to traces of alcohol. Don't drink and dive. He never went where he was told. The Methian rum shark don't drink. Asking directions was the a nautical great misconceptions no. lecture series continues. This month, the poop deck and the booby hatch. Wanted, dead or alive. William Bloodbeard for three counts of wanton swaggering. Pigtails McCrow was a maid of the sea. They're gonna have to settle for dead, I reckon. Infamy. Strangled foes to get their loot. Can you help? With a bottle of champagne I like root. this guy's music. Hung high music. Is that what they're calling it? He has a case full of stickers Serena in front Nelson, of him. Between you and me, live for adventure and piracy. Dread pirate derby it's of the slap. She's it only opens for trials. Justice Groat is probably up in Groat Manor. Oh, thanks. What's up with these stickers? I made a whole bunch of promotional stickers when I was trying to get famous. Did it work? Fame ain't important to me. It's about the music. It didn't work then? No. Take one if you like. What's happening, sister? So, you've got a banjo, a harmonica, windswept hair, a faraway look in your eyes. Are you a jockey? I'm the folk singer, Solomon Spry. What do you sing about? The truth. That Van Zandt is a crook, the waterfront is a racket, and Justice Grote is a mere puppet. I hate puppets. Is it the string kind? Nope, just the supine fatso who rubber stamps all of Van Zandt's shady dealing. On the other hand, I also sing about folk heroes like Private Ear Pudding and Pigtails McCrow. So, how many roads must a man walk down? What am I, a tour guide? Everybody must collect stones. You look like you collect everything that ain't nailed to the deck. Knock, knock, knocking on Evan's door? I don't get it. Don't think twice. How does it feel to be a Rolling Stone? Well, you gather no moss. That said, Keith Richards is covered with a rare form of lichen. Ugh. You should immortalize me in folk song. My name's easily silly enough. <sighs> the truth is, I can't write. I've lost my muse. Where did you last see it? It ain't something you see. It's something you feel. Something that follows you, inspires you. Writing your letters and sending you bits of hair. You mean a groupie? Yeah, that's the kind of muse I need. If I find you a muse, will you put me in a song? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Will you? Yes. Maybe I could be your muse. No offence, miss, but I need someone with a poetic soul. Hmm, I do hate all poems except cat ones. Exactly. Later. Later, baby. I suppose that's the harbour master's office. That leads outside. What a decadent shelving unit. To think some people have to make do with planks balanced on the heads of stuffed pets. I don't want anything from a shelving unit as decadent as that. It's marked with the trade routes around the gutter and howls. I guess all the skulls are where privateers have taken a merchant vessel. Maps are for losers. I prefer to use my imagination. Poison, laudanum, hangman's nooses, and some Jeremy Clarkson books. No way. It's probably filled with children's dreams. I'm happier with it closed. It definitely looks ill-gotten to me. No, it doesn't look clean. Call that a polished skull? I don't want Van Zandt's stupid, creepy paperweight. Pah! 
You won't catch me on a hoity-toity, how-do-you-do stepladder. That's Harbourmaster Van... what's his name? Van Zandt. Whatever. Can you... what's your take on this, Dingleberry? What, Christopher Lee's less lovable brother? I wouldn't turn my back on him. Oi, laughing boy! You address me as Van Zandt, you little turd. Sorry, sorry. Halo mighty Van Zandt, master of harbours! Are you aware that your chair's on a cabinet? Like, right on the cabinet? This is a temporary measure. My joiners are currently constructing a suitably elevated seat. You're making a throne? I find I must rise above the riffraff I am confronted with each day. Present company included. Polished skulls. Really? Where are the flickery candles and swinging chains? A very feeble attempt at an evil lair. This is merely the office of a hard-working public servant. It's not a lair. Yes, it is, and it's the worst lair I've ever seen. No, it isn't. It's a brilliant lair. You wait till they finish the shark bit. I challenge you to the great game of the sea. Do you know how to play? Uh, no. I'm a busy man. Talk to Moses Melly, quartermaster. If you beat him, I might do you the honor of thrashing you. See ya. Don't fall off and crack your face open or anything. That looks like the Quartermaster's store. There's a big brass telescope coming out of the Quartermaster's store. Almost everything you'd need for a long voyage. Gyros, pyros, compass needles, life rings, party rings, flags of all nations, salted meat, meated salt, turkey jerky, tarry bonnets and spoons. Everything for the cartographer. Parchment scrolls, vellum rolls, astrolabes, inkwells, cross staffs, quadrants, logbooks, diaries, oceanic bestiaries, almanacs, scrivener's caps, leather wraps, and, um, and some maps. Just the usual. Ropes, gropes, hook eyes, shankles, spurgeons, wints, pulleys, bullies, dollies, flanks, mulligans, cranks, and thimbles. Just the usual. Ropes, gropes. It looks comfortable. Nah. I don't need any nautical supplies. I'm no cartographer. I'm too busy, and it's full of cannonballs. I'm not in the mood to hoist anything. All these postcards have pictures of the same unattractive goose. That's handsome Alan Goose. He died in 1755. Is that important? No. I don't have time for postcards. The Severlim 2000's out. The indoor use of cannons is frowned upon. I don't know what that is. I shouldn't. It may be some kind of security tag. Dolders, shillings and pence. I'm a pirate, not a stick-up gal. That's probably where he keeps packets of old man sweets. I'd better not. An array of fine swords. The golden rapier looks interesting. This golden rapier is perfect for the bird detector. What do you think you're doing? Um... Those are emergency weapons. I only release them if we're under attack. The old quartermaster can barely see over the counter. Who's that? Actually, I think he can barely see. Full stop. Can you... What's your take on Melly? I've never seen such a keen-eyed lookout. Greetings, old man. No, no more than two pirates in the shop at a time. There's only one of me, sir. Say what? So there is. <laughs> old glass eyes were a mite scuffed. Well, young lady, are you looking to buy some ribbons? No, I... What kind of ribbons? No kind of ribbons. We don't carry ribbons. What's going down here? 
This here is the Quartermaster's store. Everything you need for a voyage by sea or sky. I'm also the lookout for the island. You? Mm-hmm. My spyglass lets me see if any armadas are poised to invade our fair isles. And all's quiet. Did you see a ship called the Heartless? Hey? Through the telescope, did you see a ship kidnapping birds? Well now, I did see them flocking around a little galley earlier. Why didn't you raise the alarm? I look out for warships, and warships is all I look out for. Bah! What do you make of Van Zandt? I'm a great admirer of him, as a harbour master and a man. Is that what you really think? Miss, I didn't get to this age by saying what I really think. About that rapier? I told you before, I only release them if we're under attack. But right now... There's nothing on the horizon. Will you teach me the great game of the sea? Depends. Are you willing to commit body and soul to an ancient and profound game? Yeah, defo. Very well. Let us play. This looks easy. Well done, miss. You're not as dim as you look. Now I'm ready to play Van Zandt. Oh, oh, no one's ever beaten Van Zandt. Close the door. I said keep that door closed. There's a draft in here. I'd better wait until he's finished with that candle. I've beaten Melly at the great game of the sea. Come on, game on. Very well. Prepare to be destroyed. Moses Melly's edition didn't have that weird thing attached. What's this? Leave that alone. I can't get it. Leave that alone. I can't get at it while Van Zandt is looking. I win. Shocking. Oh man! There's something funny going on with Van Zandt's edition of Amputation. 
I need to get a closer look. I said keep that door closed. There's a draft in here. Hey, Moses Melly's edition didn't have that weird thing attached. I knew it! Van Zant has rigged the game. Let's play again. I'm almost bored of defeating you. Impossible, you must have cheated. No more than you. Ah. Van Zant totally smashed it. What a bad loser. I'll take it as a trophy. Van Zant angrily smashed it when I beat him. <laughs> <laughs> 